What is good guys and girls? It's your boy this dude here and I know things look a little different. That's because they are. We're not gonna waste too much time on the intro. Let's address what's going on. Come on. Now, last build we did, we were talking about how we were trying to get up out of that house, or that apartment rather. Now we started this channel in the two bedroom apartment. Then we had to transfer to the three bedroom. And then there things kind of grew and got out of control. <laughs> so we were, um, like I said, in the, in the works of kind of getting out of there, trying to figure out what we were doing move into a house we did that and I think this is a good opportunity to revisit a lot of our builds and take things to the next level we have a lot of stuff sitting or that was sitting in closets for years we finally get to use everything. We got the space. So we'll be putting all of our animals in our new, our new reptile room. We gotta, we gotta build it. I'm in the process of doing that right now. We're gonna go out there and check it out. But um, yeah, we're in the process of building the new reptile room. And that leaves us a lot of space indoors to do other things. So maybe expand to fish get a bunch of five or ten gallon tanks and breed some small fish maybe get some 20 30 gallons go a little bit bigger knows but we have the opportunity to really dive in and take things to the next level so we're gonna do that everybody's enclosure who hasn't been rebuilt is getting rebuilt we're gonna take this very seriously. Why don't we step outside real quick? Now coming outside to the garage here, we will be setting up, see I'm already setting up one of the, the racks here. Um, aside from just these like bikes and fishing poles and all this fishing equipment, right? This is all Reptile stuff both of these bins. I have two more closets at the other apartment to clear out filled with reptile stuff So there's a lot of stuff coming in over here, but we're gonna Finish this rack out Right, so we'll be one rack here. Then we'll do another rack here Put a third rack here The leopard gecko tower. This is for the baby geckos. We'll get another one of these Maybe two Take it up to the ceiling just like so. We'll have more than enough space for baby geckos this season. Um, this is gonna be going upstairs. Sorry about the crickets. I, I got like a couple, almost a thousand crickets here. Um, they've been working a lot better keeping them outside in the garage. Um, yeah, they, they live a lot longer. So I think this is, this is gonna be better for a lot of the animals. Everyone that I can keep outside, all the cool animals will be staying inside because they can't tolerate this. But anyways, this is the incubator we built. So we're um, ready for breeding season. We're gonna take that upstairs, it's not gonna be there. We're gonna in fact put another rack right here. So there'll be racks going all the way around. We'll pull them about four inches off the wall, just like this one here. But with them up off of the wall, that makes it easier for me to hide cords and also get behind them and clean and, and work. Um, uh, and, and on the off chance that an animal like like we're working with an animal and it gets down on the ground and you know it's it, it would just be easier to apprehend the animal we also gave it about four to five inches up off of the ground too so we don't have no issues but um yeah so we're gonna finish this out we got two more racks to put there one more to put here and then we're thinking about putting Bubba's tent over in this area sorry once again about this is our the, the miss king pump setup and everything so everything out here is going to be hooked to an automatic misting system and all of that 
Um, and these are all our moving boxes. Way too many uh, to just put out at one time. But anyways, um, Bubba's tent is gonna go right here outside. So um, it'll be pretty much a 360 shot of just reptiles and enclosures. All the warm species will be out here. We'll be starting new projects soon enough. Um, we have a lot of open enclosures. I think um, we'll take our time and rebuild some enclosures first and then get some new animals in here, get some new projects started. Uh, the move was not good. It was incredibly stressful, uh, not only on me, but on a lot of the animals. I lost a few animals. Uh, that was, was incredibly heart-wrenching. But in the turmoil, uh, some of our other animals are laying eggs, so that, that's, that's also good. We got new crocodile skinks laying eggs. That's super dope. But um, yeah, so it, it, it wasn't easy. It wasn't, it, it was very stressful. But we're gonna clean this room up and kind of get everything together. I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know what was going on and why it's been so long. Um, we did in fact get up out of that building and we are in a house now and we have more than enough space to kind of take things to the next level. So we're gonna do that. Now with all this extra space, I really just can't wait to get to building, but I gotta get all these enclosures in here, get these racks built, get these animals secure, get the uh, movement process over with. Uh, we may have a video next week but I may just take the time off to, to just rush through this and get everything done. But we'll be introducing you guys to the new Reptile Room soon. I can't wait. Reptile Room 2.0. It's going to be awesome. Like I said, I, I just can't wait. This is going to be fun. Thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate you guys showing up. You could have been anywhere else on the planet, but you decided to be here with your boy. I appreciate that. It means a lot. Anyways, I'm your boy Smith. This is All Things Living. I'm out.